Before we begin, just know I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Always do your own research and invest wisely. So it is May of 2023, and we are pretty deep in the bear market. Um, it's been what, like over a year or so now. So it's been quite a long journey for probably everyone. And I think at this point, a lot of people are trying to predict when the next bull market hits. And a common uh, speculation that I hear is that it might come around 2024 during the next Bitcoin halving event. Now, let's assume this, you know, this is the case. Then my, my kind of logic tells me that probably now would be a good time to accumulate Bitcoin, at least for me. So what do I do? So I've been doing this for the past couple months now. My first strategy is dollar cost averaging. And what I'll do is it's pretty simple. I just use the auto buy feature in my exchange to kind of set up and consistently buy some Bitcoin every week. Um, and I'm pretty sure most exchanges, especially the bigger ones, should have this feature. Uh, I think if you just dig around, you can probably find it. Um, but the idea here is just, you know, as long as you have the money, you can just sit. Uh, set it up and then kind of forget about it until you're ready to maybe stop uh, dollar cost averaging. So for me, I, I use Coinbase. Um, and if you see on the right hand side here, you can select this drop down and it'll show you the options that you can choose to buy. So like you can buy daily, you can buy weekly, you can do it first and 15th of the month, monthly. Um, so these are the options that they give you, and then you can kind of choose, okay, I want $50 increments, $500, 5000 whatever, whatever is good for you. Um, I don't have that much fun, so I'm just kind of doing a little bit every, uh, every week, but every little bit counts, right? Now, I do have another strategy. Um, this is a DeFi-related strategy. Uh, in a previous video, I may have mentioned this earlier, but it's um, Comb Financial, which is a project on the Phantom Network. And they have this service called Pods. And basically, um, th there's four tokens that they pay out in. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, AVAX, and uh, let's see, what was the other one? No, oh, Phantom. Um, this might change. They might add more. But as of now, this is how, how many uh, tokens that they pay out in. But for me, I have a few Bitcoin Pods. And essentially, what that does is it generates a little bit of wrapped Bitcoin every day. So here are some screenshots that I have um, that I wanted to show you. So I have two Bitcoin Pods. Uh, both with different net worths. So this is the amount of assets that are kind of locked in to these NFTs. So the first thing I see here is the APR is about 35% um, for this particular, so I think for the left uh, pod. So these you know, the APR does change, it is dynamic. And here are the claimable rewards that I have. So I have about $1.60. So as you can see, it's nothing crazy. Um, right now I'm just earning like a few cents every day. However, I can increase the amount of rewards that I generate um, by either depositing more COM tokens, which are the tokens used by the protocol COM Finance. Um, as you can see, it's dropped quite drastically compared to the last bull run. Um, so it's pretty cheap right now. But so it, there's, of course, still a risk. Um, so this is something that you have to kind of take into consideration. And you can also deposit um, liquidity tokens. So the liquidity tokens is how this uh, these pods generate revenue. They use liquidity farming. Um, right now it's called the spooky strategy. Uh, basically they use liquidity farming in the spooky swap ecosystem. And then that generates boo rewards. And those boo rewards are then sold or swapped for wrapped Bitcoin. And that's what they pay you with. So yeah, so you can deposit either the liquidity tokens for the strategy or you can deposit comb tokens. And the more you deposit, the more that you'll be paid out. Now with this strategy, of course, um, there is the risk of market volatility. If, if, for example, comb tokens increase in price, then the net worth will increase in price as well. However, um, if the comb token decreases in price, then the net worth will decrease as well and so does your payout. So my, my hope is um, if the bull market comes around, maybe the comb token will increase in price and then maybe I'll be able to get more rap, uh, more worth in these wrapped Bitcoin. But we'll see, we never know, right? No one knows. Now the cool thing about this is, so they used to be mintable, so you used to be able to mint these, but I think that cap has already been hit. So these pods can only be sold in their marketplace. Um, so you can check out the comb finance website. And then, you know, if, you, if you're interested, you can buy one. Uh, hopefully, you find one at a good price. But you can also buy or sell these. 
uh, if you decide, you know, maybe these aren't for you. But yeah, that's my strategy. Um, nothing too crazy, pretty straightforward. My, I think what I plan on doing is if the bull market comes around, um, I'm probably going to sell most of my Bitcoin holdings to lock in some profit. Um, but I'm just going to keep doing this uh, to you know, accumulate more Bitcoin.